In this problem, we're trying to find constants a, b, and c so that this concave up parabola x squared plus ax plus b and this concave down parabola cx minus x squared have a common tangent at one zero. So the idea of this problem is you have a concave up parabola and a concave down parabola. They both have to go through the point one zero so this point one zero will be on both parabolas. And then at this point, they have a common tangent. So you have a tangent line like this here and a tangent line like this here. And this tangent line has to be the same line as this line. So it has to have the same slope and go through one zero as well. So the first thing we wanna to do to solve this type of a problem is think. Both parabolas have to satisfy this point which means that first we have from the y1 equation that the y value 0 equals y1 is 1 squared plus a times 1 plus b, which gives us a relationship. Negative 1 is equal to a plus b. Then from the y2 equation, we have 0 equals y2 is equal to c times 1 minus 1 squared. This gives us right away that c is equal to one. Now we have to find another relationship and that will come from the slope of this line being the same as the slope of this line. Since it's a tangent line, we take the derivative of the y1 equation and set it equal to the derivative of the y2 equation at one zero. So the tangent slope to both of these parabolas at this point one zero will be the same. This means 2x plus a, the derivative of y1, is equal to c minus 2x, the derivative of y2 with respect to x. Then this must be true at the point x equals 1, so we have to have 2 plus a is equal to c minus 2. So now we have to combine this condition for c equals 1 with this equation here to solve for a. So we have 1 minus 2 is negative 1, leading us to a equals minus 3. Then finally, to find b, we can take a and plug it into this relationship right here. a plus b is equal to minus 1. And so from this, we have b is equal to 2. So now we know our a, b, and c, leading us to the final equations of our parabolas. y1 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2, and y2 is equal to x minus x squared. Now, the tangent line has to be solved for using the slope from either of these two derivatives at x equals to 1, and then we're going to draw a sketch of this whole situation. So technically speaking, we've already answered the question, but now we want to draw a sketch of the solution. We need to find the tangent line, so we'll use the general equation of a tangent line, which is just the point slope form of a line, y minus y0 equals m x minus x0, so it's the point slope form of a line, and then we're going to use the tangent line form, which is f prime of x0, x minus x0, y minus y0. Recall that y0 is equal to f of x0. Now, to find this derivative, we can use either the y1 equation or the y2 equation evaluated at x equals 1. So for example, y1 prime is equal to 2x minus 3. We evaluate this at x equals to 1 and we get two minus three is negative one. So this is the slope of our tangent line, which we'll put into this equation for f prime of x naught. x naught, of course, is equal to one, and y naught is equal to zero. So we have our tangent line is the y naught value, zero, equal to the derivative of y1 evaluated at x equals 1 
times x minus 1. Now we could have used the y2 prime as well to get minus 1. So for example, y2 prime would be equal to 1 minus 2x. We could evaluate that. That x equal 1 and we get 1 minus 2 is negative 1, which is the same. So our tangent line is equal to minus x plus 1. So now we want to draw a sketch of the situation. Notice that y1 equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 has roots by factorization x minus 2, x minus 1, and here y2 can be factored as x times 1 minus x. So this has roots 2 and 1, and this has roots 0 and 1. So now we're ready to draw a sketch of the solution. We have our Cartesian plane, x and y. And let's draw uh, this parabola first. It has roots at 1 and 2. So we'll label those points. And then when we put in x equals 0, we get a y-intercept of 2, something like that. And so now this determines a concave up parabola because the leading coefficient is positive. So we can draw the sketch here, something like this. Oh, it's a pretty rough sketch, but it's good enough. Y1, and then this parabola, which is concave down because of that minus sign has roots at the origin of coordinates, and one, so it's gonna be something like this. So that's our y2. And then the tangent line, which we found, is minus x plus 1. So that has y-intercept of 1, and it must go through this point, 0, 1. And so the tangent line, something like this. Which is the whole idea of the problem. So notice that this parabola and this parabola share a common tangent line at 1, 0. The line y equals negative x plus 1. So let's summarize what we did in this problem. The problem says find a, b, and c so that this concave up parabola and this concave down parabola have a common tangent at 1, 0. So that means that both of the parabolas have to go through this key point at 1, 0, and notice that they both share that point in common. So that was this condition and this condition. Then we enforce the slope of the parabolas have to be the same at the point 1, 0. Setting them equal to each other gives us another relationship. We solve the three relationships together to find c equals 1, a equals minus 3, and b equals 2. Then we have our two parabolas. We can draw the sketch of the two parabolas from these two equations by factoring them to find the roots. And then we use our equation of a tangent line to find y tangent line. And we used y1 prime to get negative one. We could have also used y2 prime to get negative one because the two parabolas have the same slope at this point. And then we draw a sketch of the situation. So we have here is our y1 this is this equation here this our y2 it's this equation here like this and then our tangent line is this line here like this and studying this problem we see that y2 has a family of tangent lines like this associated to it, and y1 has a family of tangent lines like this associated to it, and both parabolas share a common tangent line at 1, 0, which looks like this. So the two parabolas have the same slope, and they both go through this point, and the lines that are tangent to the curves also go through this point are tangent to both parabolas. So that's the idea of this problem and the sketch helps us to make the idea of the problem much clearer than just giving these two parabolas alone.